Welcome to another episode of NotYourDad'sBeer.com. Today we're in Euclid Hall. It's in downtown Denver, and uh, it's an up-and-coming beer hall. And uh, they just received Odell's Avant Peach Imperial Porter, so I thought we'd uh, open up a bottle, crack it, see how it tastes, and kind of go from there. Um, some things to note about this really, really cool beer is that 45% of the ale is aged with peaches, 19% uh, is aged in just oak, and another 36% is aged in oak with the peaches. So they got three different parts to make this beer. Um, very curious to see what it's going to taste like and uh, yeah let's give it a go all right so let's pour it away shall we All right, so we just went ahead and poured the Odell's Avon Peach Porter. As you can see, it's a, it's a nice, really kind of a slightly hazy, tannish off-white head. Um, really billowy, too, similar to what you'd find in golden. It's just kind of fluffy cloud-like. color itself is just very, very dark black, um, similar to stouts and some dark, dark porters. Uh, so let's give it a taste, see what it tastes like. It smells interesting, really good carbonation, a little metallic. Uh, slightly roasted coffee malts, which is, I was actually expecting a little bit sweeter from the peach side of it, but um, see how it tastes. Right, it's actually a pretty mild beer. Uh, it comes in at 9% alcohol. Um, what I'm getting is just a touch of hint of peaches on the finish, but it's way more roasted bitter malts. This is actually chocolate and uh, coffee flavored. Definitely not rich espresso, mild, mild coffee. I'm really not getting a whole lot of peaches, which is really upsetting because um, as you can tell by the bottle, you know, they're signifying there's a lot of peaches going on here. So that's a little upsetting. Uh, overall, I think it's not a bad beer. It's just not what you expect. You're gonna get this if you wanna do a porter, but not because you're hoping to get a lot of intense sweet peach flavor off of it. Goes down pretty smooth. It's about medium body in the mouth. Nothing too massive going on here. The finish is pretty. Um, it's pretty flat. Not gonna lie. I uh, wish it finished longer. Wish it was a little bit brighter. Uh, a little bit sweeter. You know, overall, this is not a fantastic beer. But um, you got to give them credit for stepping out of the box and trying something new. Uh, I believe this is the first um, imperial size porter made with you know something as bright as peaches let's say uh, so they, they made a really good attempt I just wish there's more going on here overall you know it's not a bad beer but it's not fantastic um, so here at Euclid Hall uh, you're gonna find that we have one case of the Odell's Avon Peace so if you want to try something different definitely come down and give it a shot it's a really tasty Imperial Porter but Overall, it's not fantastic, um, sadly. Uh, they will have it on draft, so we'll give it another shot, then do a comparison between a CO2 charged uh, draft beer uh, versus you know, re-fermentation in the bottle. Kind of go from there. Thank you for joining us here at Euclid Hall. Uh, once again, this is Mark Bass from NotYourDad'sBeer.com, and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. This is Not Your Dad's Beer.